Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful day, this beautiful New Year, and may the New Year bring revolution. Amen. We live today under sham freedoms. We're told we have freedom of speech. Go ahead, speak. Nobody cares. We're told we have freedom of the press. Good luck getting it if you can't buy a 30-second slot or a full-page ad. We're told we have freedom of assembly. Well, yeah, we march, we protest, and then we just go away. We're told we have free and open elections. The majority wins, everyone else goes away loser. So people become apathetic. Who can blame them? Their votes are meaningless. Everything is controlled by money. The issues are trivialized. Why even bother to vote? You just got to get a job and do what you're told. So we protest. What else can we do? Our message has been fairly consistent. We are opposed to corporate greed and united by a sense of moral outrage at our current leadership. It's a little bit vague but nothing worse than change we can believe in. It's a little bit disorganized, but if you say you're protesting against the government, everyone from potheads to tea partiers to militiamen to tree hoggers are going to come out because they've all got a gripe against the government. There's been some crime and some violence, but what do you expect when you get 7,000 people together in one place? We're just supposed to have our little protest and go away so we can be voted down again. What if we don't go away? What if we protest for a month, for two months, for three months? Then our government comes in with SWAT teams and they get tough. Some people even suggest it as our fault. This is... Uh, from a Seattle Times op-ed piece last month. Peter Malford wrote this. Because no one tried to harness or focus the movement's substantial momentum, to do so would have been uncool, it has lost its momentum. We are left to wonder what the movement could have accomplished if it hadn't been an amorphous blob of disorganized people who couldn't gather around a vivid message or mission. Hmm. You know, I wonder what the protesters in Tiananmen Square could have accomplished if the communist Chinese government had let them gather around a vivid message or mission. I guess we'll never know. That guy in front of the tank, he was uh, just too disorganized. Uh, couldn't harness the movement's substantial momentum. Yeah, maybe he was just uncool. There are some disturbing differences, disturbing similarities between Tiananmen Square and Occupy. They were occupying a public space. It was a bit chaotic and disorganized. The government put up with it for a little while, and then they got tough, and the demonstrators just went away. So now Occupy is supposed to just go away, we just go away, they go away, they go away! So here's my New Year's message to America. We are absolutely opposed to the leadership of this country and we will not go away. My name's Brent. Happy New Year. Amen.